So you just received a solid model of a cutting tool from your favorite tooling supplier. First, let's go to File, Import, and then select the solid model that your supplier sent you. Upon import, you will notice that the body and the inserts are separate items. We need to make them one item. So we will select the body and the inserts. and do a solid model union. They are now one piece. And don't worry that you don't know where the bottom of the tool is. We do need to move that up to Z0. Let's let Gibbscan figure that out with the shrink wrap command. Shrink wrap tells us that the Z bottom of the tool is minus 1.7717. So we will translate it up that amount. This tool is now ready to be imported into Gibbscam. So we will open our tool list, select the body, select 3D form, press apply. Don't worry about the alarm that says this tool may not render correctly because it is not monotonic in Z. As you can see, this tool renders not only correctly, but accurately. And we can now use it to create a tool path. We're going to create a facing tool path, but we need the stock to make some sense first. So let's make the top Z 0.1 and we'll start at 0.1 and move into zero. We now have a beautiful roll in tool path with a tool from your favorite supplier. Good luck.